Okay, fiberglass and day. It did rain last night. I put these out on top. Yeah, this got a little bit wet. Just because, you know, the seams aren't completely sealed. So there's a few drips. If this is going to stay here, I'd spray foam it or something. But, uh, yeah. The, the wood all looks fine. I brought a big fan with me, so hopefully I don't need to wear the, uh, you know, the Darth Vader machine. So I can just blow the fumes away as I'm going. It's nice to not have to wear it. Well, that blows pretty good. Keep it from tipping over. The only problem I'm having right now is that the ground is damp. So that's not going to be great because I need to I need to stand on that tarp and keep keep the tarp clean. So I'll go get some Crocs. I was thinking that since I'm going to make multiples of these, I should make a template of the fiberglass I have to cut out. Obviously, so I have this big sheet of black plastic. I'm going to cut along the edge there. So when I cut the fiberglass, I need to make sure I leave just a little bit. Because I don't want, you know, the concern is that if it's a tiny bit too short, it won't reach the end. So I always have to cut things a little bit bigger than they need to be. Get a little bit of overhang. All right. Now, I think what I'm going to do with the fiberglass is not cut one long piece across. Because then there's going to be huge pieces of waste, right? Instead, I'm going to cut. The four foot section, four foot section, four foot section, four foot section. And if I cut them one that way, then one that way, then one that way, and one that way, um, it should end up making no waste. And since it's the mat, it, it doesn't really matter if it's one continuous piece. They overlap and the fibers get into each other anyway. But if I do the woven fiberglass, I would want to do one continuous piece because then I would have fibers going from end all the way to the end. Alright, last coat of wax before I cut the fiberglass. Okay, I've got four different sections and three pieces in each section, so three total layers. I think the way I'm going to do this is put one here, then one here, then one there, here, here, and then there, here, 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 then just keep going like that. Because if I do one layer all the way to the end, by the time I get back to here, this part may have dried and it it's better to put layers on wet layers because they'll, they'll mix together better. I probably won't get much of this on camera because I need to do a really good job. Because if I screw this up, I'm screwing up a lot of work. But for anyone who doesn't know how this fiberglass operation works, basically fiberglass is glass fibers, which is what all this stuff is. It's tiny little glass fibers, right? Soaked in plastic and this is polyester resin, and if I mix half of that bottle with this whole thing, it'll harden in, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. I'm not sure how long it takes this version, but hopefully it'll give me enough time. So I'll probably do half a gallon of this at a time, mix it up in this pan over here, then I'll use a paint roller 
to roll some on the kayak where I'm going to put the fiberglass. Then I'll take a sheet of fiberglass, lay it on there, roll some more resin on there till that's soaked through. And the next spot, I'll roll resin on the, on the kayak again, put another sheet of fiberglass, roll over that, and then go back to there. Yeah. Um, it's not, it's not very complicated. It's pretty simple. It's just very messy and easy to screw up. Uh, and the reason I don't do all three layers here and then all three layers, then all three layers and all three layers. If I do all three layers at once, then the next set of three layers goes like that. And it's not a real good connection. So I'd rather do one layer there, then here, then there, then there, then there. Then there. And that's a much better connection, right? Okay, I got my fan on. Ooh, that is great. It's blowing, it's blowing all the air up through here, blowing away from my head level. Oh, that should be good. I think I'm pretty much ready to start. I only got one layer of resin on there because, you know, best laid plans are great until they hit reality. So <clears throat> that first gallon of resin I opened was thicker than it should have been. I guess it was just kind of old or whatever, I don't know, whatever, it, it was just thick. So it took more time for it to soak in. I had to work it a lot more to get it to soak into the fiberglass. So that slowed down the operation a lot. And then the other thing is down at this bottom edge, this, like if I, if I touch anything up here, this would start peeling off in spots. So everywhere I went, the last thing I had to do was touch this and just get that to stick down. Now it's a good thing. It means it's not sticking easily because you know I waxed the crap out of it, great. However, if I, I think if I tried to put the second layer on before this one hardens, it's gonna mess up that, that edge. So I decided to just do the whole thing one layer and then you know I'll go I'll do both layers second. And hopefully, well my I got into a second gallon of, of resin. I used maybe one and a quarter on this. But the second gallon I opened, that one was real liquidy. That was Super easy. This this last section went really smooth. That was great. So hopefully the rest of them will be nice and liquidy like that. And I'll get through this piece of cake. And wrestling with that first gallon of thick resin, I left a couple bubbles. There's one right there and one right there. The fan was amazing. Alright, I'm gonna let this hard I and go get Alright. I think I'm ready for the next layer. Well, the second layer went on so smoothly with the juicier resin, I decided to do the third layer too. So there, all three layers on. That is looking mighty good. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna try to pull it off today. I wanna make sure it totally cures before I mess around with it. Okay, it's tomorrow. Uh, I've already had a long day of driving a boat to get passport photos. The guy at the picture place didn't know how to operate his computer. Okay, that looks like it's coming off pretty easily. Oh yeah, it's popping right off. Nice. Oh great, that's coming off all the way up to here so far. Still a little sticky. Oh man, do I really want to get sticky? Right now, it's already four o'clock. The day's pretty much. Ah, while I was in town, I got a couple extra rollers. I didn't really need them yet or anything, but I like to stay ahead. And then I also got the, the you know, the Darth Vader machine with a couple extra filters. Because even though the fan was doing a great job of blowing the fumes away, I was still getting a, uh, you know, a whiff now and then. Like if I had to bend down to get like down beside the kayak and the wind wasn't blowing the stink away and then I breathe get some get a few bad breaths so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wear the thing put the fan on and wear the thing double protection okay two days later because yesterday we spent all day having kid playdates
in here. And that currently, huh? Wow. Yeah. Very clean on the inside. I did have a bit of difficulty pulling it off. Apparently, that wood filler, the one I bought, not the one I made, the one I made seems to be fine, but the one I bought, it just stuck. But uh, I should be able to get this off. Yeah, it looks like it's fine under there. It's just smooth right there. Just have to scrape this off. Maybe I won't do it with my fingernail the whole time. Alright, let me get some to scrape it. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice. No, I want to get something a little better than that. Okay. That comes off pretty easily. It's funny because I put the same amount of wax on everything. I guess this stuff dissolved through the wax or something. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. Yeah, the surface under there is... Under there it's fine. Pretty light, which is great because the the finished version will be lighter than this. This is three layers of fiberglass, kind of a lot of resin. I don't need that much resin in that actual thing. I do have a few blemishes I can fix in here. I just have to trim the edges. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Trim the edges, sand the edges. Like, well, here's the worst one. That's actually got fibers up so I'll get a bit of resin and just dab it in here let it harden and sand it over it's a little bit here too a little there yeah little spots 